Welcome back, Wildcats. We're live at the U of A for U of A's first day of classes here on Good Morning Tucson. Yes, we are. Beautiful morning, too. Could not ask for better weather. Not a cloud in the sky oh, for the eclipse coming up a little later on. These babies are going to come in handy yeah, around 1030 this morning. And we can't talk about U of A without talking about football. A lot of people looking forward to the season. But when Arizona football freshman Mike King Johnson was born, his parents wanted to give him a unique name. Yeah, as sports director Jason Barr here at KGON 9 found out, though, Little did they know how unique his name and his story would actually be. That's good, dude. Mike King Johnson's big smile was met with an even bigger headline when he signed on to play for the Wildcats. While Michael Sam came out following his Missouri career and ASU's Edward Sarafan was a walk-on, Mike King Johnson is the first openly gay scholarship player in major college football. It's the topic everyone wants to discuss. Definitely it's been following me a lot. Uh, it's not a problem though. I'm, I'm loving it, so it's fine. Johnson came out when he was 12. Yeah, it's nothing new, nothing, yeah. So people knew up throughout high school, people knew through middle school as well. They also knew Johnson as a fierce pass rusher for the Tempe Buffaloes. Scout.com rated the six foot four Johnson as the top defensive end recruit in the state of Arizona. Rich Rodriguez has called his sexuality a non-story. He's a freshman just like everybody else. What he does in his personal life is is not a factor in, in, in us recruiting him and, or him playing or anything like that. I hope, you know, what his personal life is a, is a bigger story after he makes an impact on the football field at Arizona. Johnson's presence just might be what the Wildcat defense needs most. Someone who can consistently help Luca Bruno and company put pressure on opposing quarterbacks. I accept everybody on the D line, no matter what, and it's just a brotherhood. You know, he's he's fitting in perfect with everybody, and he's uh, he's a great player. He's a smart kid. The team, they're very cool with it. Sometimes they make they make funny jokes, but it's like it's just jokes to like you know to, to show me that they're accepting me. Johnson cites tennis star Serena Williams as a sports star he most admires. He does not consider Michael Sam to be his role model. Yeah, I think he should have came out sooner. I think he should have been more open about it. I don't, I don't think he should have been scared about anything. And and maybe it could have been he was worried about being accepted. But honestly, if they're not going to accept you, you shouldn't want to be around them anyway. In Sam's defense, the political climate has changed in recent years, something Rich Rodriguez, who's originally from conservative West Virginia, realizes. Our generation, my generation, probably does look at it as a bigger deal. But the millennials, what do you call it, the young guys, like the guys on our team are like, I just hope he can rush the passer, you know, and he's a good guy. You know, I love being inspiration, so I'm, I'm loving everything, but it's about football, so let's just get that done. And you can see more on the Wildcat football team during our special here on K-Gun 9. Arizona football season preview 2017. Sports director Jason Barr joined by not on side's Erica Weston, as well as ESPN Tucson's Zach Clark. Airs Saturday, 4.30, thanks to O'Reilly Chevrolet. All